Yep, we live. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share it right quick. Go on. Yep, we live. I'm sh- yep. Hey, uh, uh, Rock, I want to read that Amos right quick. Con. Book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. First and, for, first and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Hashem, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodash, Barak, Atham. Hey, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can just keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. Look, um, New Year's Eve of destruction, you know how we do. If you've been around for a while, you already know how we do. We get it in right before so-called New Year's Eve. We prophesied a downfall, destruction, and total collapse and annihilation of Babylon, a.k.a. America. Okay, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, man. Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel, I'll be edified. And the Lord said he's going to destroy this wicked, sinful kingdom from off the face of the earth. Got the brother Kabad, got the brother Ra with me. You know what I'm saying? The brother Hawad. Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, Lord willing, this will be that year, man. Mm-hmm. What will it 2022 man would be the year? You know what I'm saying? That this place sees it, its demise, man. And like the scriptures say, um, for when they shall say peace and say that now Jake thought 2021 20, was bad. You ain't seen nothing yet, right? So I can't wait for 2022 to come, man. So we can get out of 2021. Well, you got a sad thing coming, man. Because even only he was behold has come. Get that again, Ara. Yep. The book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 8. So like your bro, that's why this is the time to seek the Lord. The scripture say, make no tarrying to seek Yahweh by Shem Shai. Look, don't put it off from day to day. While, while Jake out there getting ready to say five, four, three, two, one, this devil, you know what I'm saying, is writing down um different laws and legislations. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just like he did years ago, you know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot exactly what year it was, you know what I'm saying? When they went to Jekyll Island, it was like around Christmas time. Mm. Jake was um rapping presents and all that, but um Sleazy E was on Jekyll Island, bro. You know what I'm saying? Passing all kind of you know what I'm saying, um legislations, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Having this way, you know what I'm saying? By the time you finish rapping the present, your ass wake back up, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you, you're forced to do this, then the third. Yep. People don't even know, man. It's gonna be more mandates, it's gonna shit, it's gonna be less places you can go. Mm-hmm. And soon come martial law is gonna pop off. Why? Because all privacy. Go ahead, bro. That's right. Amos 9 and 8, behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, which are the angels, are upon the sinful kingdom. A.K.A. America, man. Once again, America passes laws for you to go against the Bible, man. All right? And in the desert, willingly, man. You see? Yep. America, they have you They go. They have you go to court. Like right about now, I'm pretty sure everybody's watching the Times Square or wherever, you know what I'm saying, city you in, they're dropping either Acorn. One one um city is dropping on um, a roach, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One one city in in, uh, in North Carolina dropping a roach, man. <laughs> one, one city is dropping a frog. It's all folly, man. It's yeah, all man. folly, man. But we're here to tell you, according to the Bible, that the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels are upon this sinful kingdom, a.k.a. America. And what, and what they going to do, bro? It says... <clears throat> If I may, I had a pre- quick precept of what you just said, Hawaii. Yep. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. One of y'all got it. Yeah, the, um, right. uh, yeah the mandates is, is a, a great example. Unrighteous decrees, ma- making it mandatory for you to take the boost mobile. You know, make, making it mandatory to do different things that, that uh, brings harm upon your body. This one right. example that this devil is, is, is doing. You know, because what the scriptures say, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So he's contrary to righteousness. Mm-hmm. Yep. It says, Isaiah 10 and 1, and that right grievousness, which they have prescribed. Mm-hmm. Yep. And their laws are grievous. You know, they got so many different laws that, you know, you can't keep up with it. Hundreds of thousands of laws, and they get ready to pass more. Okay? Especially uh, in favor of their uh, NWO agenda. That's right. 
it says, uh, that's pretty much it. Con. I want to get that definition for grievous. This is a definition for grievous, and it reads, as soon as this phone get right, grievous of something bad, mm-hmm. very serious, <clears throat> very severe or serious. Mm-hmm. Bad, grave, critical, dreadful, terrible, awful, awful painful, uh, agonizing, mm-hmm. hurtful, afflicting, wounding, damaging, um, clamorous, um, uh, calam- calamitous, cr- distressing, sorrow, hinderous, or not, not heinous. Heinous. Acts, man. If I may say, and all those are beautiful definitions. Meanwhile, our people are hooping and hollering, got on the 2022 glasses, you know, with the, with the party hats. Meanwhile, right. this this man is, is looking to afflict you even more, to cause more hurt, pain on you even more, man. These That's what we're looking forward to. Jairo and Ashanti, man. Our people look through too, man. What the hell, what the hell, you, baby. <laughs> 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 grievous the opposite of good man and i got a precept for whenever you finish kabod okay i got uh one more micah two yeah Baba a matter of fact Baba before Gashaw. you even get there let me i might as well get this because this has got something to do with his policies and his laws and all that right mm-hmm. it's another reason why among, among many that the god of the bible is going to destroy this place this is this is a, one of many man many reasons uh, it's, one might ask why why, is, why should he destroy this place it's, it's the land of milk and honey come on <laughs> man come on man you these bug outs right these numbness right yeah daniel, daniel chapter 8 verse 25 and through his policy mm-hmm. that's his right law, that's right through his policy his laws man mm-hmm. this man is constantly changing policies and laws each and every uh, a year man every day well, you know, bro right well we know the laws the bible are faithful and true that's why this whole everything is all in, in a turmoil man mm-hmm. because this devil wants to bring his ways is only to afflict you israelites that's right, that's right. and look and if he had to um bring his people in the middle of it then is this so be it you know what i'm saying this mm-hmm. man this man, this man like yo i don't give a damn if i kill millions of my own people as long as i get yeah. that birth right back that's right Sleaze E basically said, I don't care if it's just one person left on the face of the earth. You know, I get their birthright. Look, I trade some people. Right. You know, you got some sperm cells, you know what I'm saying, in them um, laboratories up on the ground somewhere. Right. I don't give a damn. I create, I create some more babies. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to get that birthright back, but it ain't going to happen. Because the Lord said, as long as the sun, as long as you see the sun, as long as you see the moon, mm-hmm. the, the Israelites going to always be around. That's right. See, That's right. if you can um, figure out the depths of the ocean, right. you can figure mm-hmm. out how, how big space is. Mm-hmm. You can have a birthright. The Lord's being facetious, right? Mm-hmm. Daniel chapter 8, verse 25. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Yeah, he's going to cause these laws to come and, and, and prosper in his hand, man. Because why? He has the power to do so. And that craft is going to say witchcraft. You mm-hmm. mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? His media. Right. It says, um, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. Mm-hmm. He building his he building his, his own self up, man. Right, you know. But what what the bigger you are, the harder you fall. And this man is getting ready to fall, man. And then it's like it's like a um a Nebuchadnezzar situation to where he think he got the power on his own. Right. Until the Lord humbles him. You know what I'm saying, yeah, it's all mine. It's all mine. This man act like he's God. The scriptures say that this man act like he's God. Mm-hmm. He don't believe in God, but he's saying to himself, if it, if there is a God, then it's him, right? Mm-hmm. It ain't nobody else. It says he shall magnify himself in his heart. Going right back to um Obadiah, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Mm-hmm. Thou dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. This devil mm-hmm. really don't even know, man. We'll prophesy his downfall, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, any one of y'all know what that scripture said, which, which says uh, prophesy against Mount Seir? Oh, uh, yeah. Ezekiel. I think so. Yeah. It says, oh. and by, look, listen, and this is this is the thing about here. You go right here, Kabod, and by peace shall destroy many. Yeah, and by peace shall by peace shall destroy many, man. Mm-hmm. All right, and he's coming and he's coming in peace, right? But that's why it's gonna lead to the destruction of our people. Remember, right. it tells you in the book of Psalms, the, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter and softer than oil, but yet I, I, war I was, was in his heart, that. man. I was getting ready to get that. Kind. This is it right here. 
This is Psalm chapter 55 and 21. And it reads, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. That's talking about the so-called white man. Right. The, the white man, woman, and child. That's right, brother. You know, that's their spirit. Mm -hmm. and, and how can you make some um, straight that was created to be crooked? Right. right. You, like this man gonna wake up on um, Monday morning and say he's just gonna be a good guy all of a sudden. No, man. This man gonna wake up Monday morning and put more hell on you. Mm-hmm. Cause says why well, um, when it, when it, when it, when they go to the career, they practice, they uh, think about what they're gonna do, and mm -hmm. then when it's light, they come out and practice it. That's in Habakkuk. We're gonna see if we can get the now. This in uh, is that Habakkuk? The uh, second chapter? That's Micah. Yeah, Micah, right? You Micah two, right? Micah two, yeah. Top, yeah, in twelve, I yep. think. Uh Once Micah again, Micah two in at the top. Yeah, Micah two in at the top. This, this man, shit, this devil ain't gonna sleep good after the night, man. Well, he mm -hmm. ever since his word came on the street, this devil ain't he wake up all um types of night with his eyes all big, hell he yeah, staring at the ceiling and shit. <laughs> Psalm chapter fifty five, verse twenty one. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, mm -hmm. but war was in his heart. Yeah, wars because uh, look, the war, his 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 blessing was a sword, and what do you do with the sword? You go around creating war, man. That's right, right, and that's what this that's what this guy is doing, especially in these last days against the children of Israel. Shit, he did it against Gad, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ruben and and Issachar, you know what I'm saying? The Latin mm -hmm. tribe, you know what I'm saying? What makes you think he won't do it against Judah, Benjamin, and Levi? Right, he want he want us all dead, man. <clears throat> yep, this is but war was in his heart. Mm -hmm. His word was softer than oil, yet were they drawing swords. Yeah, man, this, this, this man got game. You, you you think Jake walking around here with game? Esau got game, man. Right. You know, and he, and he, he performs it through his media, through his news, right? Right. And our people are swallowed up. They eat it up, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. They said, we don't, you know, we don't lay down with Vanessa Williams, man. Hey, we're going to be able to do this. We're going to be able to do that. Yeah. Like you everybody's know? going, I'm not, I was just gonna say everybody's going to these different events tonight. And you know I'm saying they gotta be juiced up. Yep. To enter, mm -hmm. to get on the rides, you know what I'm saying, to listen to some whack band, you know what I'm saying, play the banjo and the guitar, you gotta be juiced up, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta drink that juicy juice, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, mm. so, I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna read that Daniels again, and then y'all can bring out whatever. I, I do got um, you said you got a precept, another precept combined. I had a mic or two, but I mean. We yeah, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna read it. I was just gonna say after that, I got I got um another one too, and I'm rocking, you know what I'm saying, elaborate on that. This is once again Daniel chapter 8, verse 25, and then we can go right back to that um Amos. Huh. Daniel chapter um 8, verse 25, and through his policy, also shall he cause craft to prosper in his hand. That's what he's doing, man. On the news, when he come out with that nonsense, he's he, he's actually performing witchcraft, bro. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's what he's performing, witchcraft, man. Yep. It says, um, <clears throat> and he shall, cause, cause why the earth was given his hands. Yep. The, who backlag is that? Is that coming um, from my end? Like somebody falling out? Back. No, I don't hear anything either. I can hear it a little bit. Like just now. Hello, hello. I don't hear it now. <laughs> oh, We're going to get through the sleazy hey. technology is, is crap too, man. Right. This man got a crappy deal, man, all the way around, man. Shit, a crappy okay. deal. It says, um, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. And look, by his peace, coming in peace, right? He's going to destroy many, like he was going to going into. Right. You know, the same tricks that he pulled on Gad and Reuben, Issachar, he's coming with those same tricks today, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what? 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 Uh, what's that? What's that old saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me mm -hmm. twice, shame on me. Right. And that's what we're telling our people, man. Look, man, mm -hmm. you, we stir your pure minds. Uh, Sirach twelve and ten to never trust this devil, man. That's right. He go to these other countries, coming in peace and all that, but he he brings a missile right before he comes. Oh, in. Yeah. Before he comes to your country in peace, he drops a missile first, and then he say, "You gonna you gonna play my my rules or what?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying. This devil comes to your country and he sent his little um ambassadors to his to your country or whatever, and he'll say, um, hey, look, we, we want that oil, you know what I'm saying? You know, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll give you we we'll give you the low ball price, right? Mm -hmm. Like right. You know what I'm saying, oh, is y'all getting down with a deal or not? The dude's right. like, nah, yo, we, we ain't getting down with a deal. Let's say you know some, some missiles coming after that, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sleazy is like get down or lay down, but the Lord gonna lay this man down. He mm -hmm. says he shall he shall also stand up against the prince of princes. Oh, how was shot, man? 
the upcoming World War Three, man. Right. But what Lord's gonna burn them all down, man? Re uh, uh it shall, shall be broken without hand. It shall be broken without hand because the Lord will not have lift of a finger. Right. right? Second Ezra is the thirteenth chapter. That's right. And that's the and that's the day we prophesying of, man. We prophesying mm -hmm. the destruction of this place, man. A new heavens, new earth, man, which dwell of righteousness. Nobody ain't gonna remember this place, man. When, once we fly over this place in our beautiful chariots, man, we're, we're gonna tell our babies, you know what I'm saying? Look, that's what we call hell at. That's Babylon right there, man. The mother of harlots, man. <coughs> Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0 right there, man. Mm -hmm. We call hell in that place, man. That's where the wicked rule from, man. Mm -hmm. and, I, and our baby's gonna say, This is he who ruled the earth, daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that devil ruled the earth. You know what I'm that devil's gonna be looking crazy as hell in those videos, man. Straight up, man, going through it, man. You did it. You didn't. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> you got Con. it. You said you had that Micah 2 and 10. Con, yeah, 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 yeah. Slide. Oh, Rod, you, oh, Rod, you can break that down. Uh. I mean, uh, Micah 2 and um, two and 1. But I can read 10. You want me to read 10? Con. Whatever you want, bro. Con. This is uh, Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye in a part, for this is not your rest. Yeah, <clears throat> this place is not our rest. America is about to be destroyed. I mean, you can tell. You got people partying with face coverings on, looking crazy. Meanwhile, this devil's passing mandates, and he's getting desperate. He's running the same I formation, same play. Mm -hmm. Bringing in another, he bringing in Omari on this time to dance. Right. And what he's going to do? Start locking things down. Same I formation. Mm -hmm. So it's clear that this this place is going out. You know, it's not our rest. So arise, you spiritually and mentally. Come back to your power, Yahweh by Shimia was shot. Bro, say so he bringing that Amari on. He bringing that ice box. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got my ice box, man. The heart used to be. <laughs> he bringing that ice box, man. Everybody mask the hell up, man. Everybody. Everybody masked up and juiced up, brothers. Yep. You know? Yep. You got it. It reads on Micah 2 and 10 because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. Yeah, you see, you see how people that's been invested in America, what, what's what's been happening to them, you know, diseases, you know, mind is polluted. These same ones bugged out that was celebrating Christmas, man. You know, so this place is polluted. It's polluted mm -hmm. uh, the food, the water, the air, the minds of the people. Mm -hmm. So that this is one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why the Lord's getting ready to destroy this place, man. That's right. Right. You know, I'm hey. going to read this. Bro. Say what you want to say right quick. Goodbye. No, I just had a precept backing up the brother. Go ahead. This uh, Revelation 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye may not be partakers of her sins, mm -hmm. and that ye receive none of her plagues. And what's that ultimate plague? Ze uh, Zechariah 14 chapter, thermonuclear destruction. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have plays that the Lord is pushing out now that's gonna affect our people. If you don't come back to your power, y'all about Shimia was shy, for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're gonna you're gonna be destroyed along with these heathen nations. That's right. So the Lord said, Come out of her. The Lord is 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 warning you, you know, through his through his men he set up, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men on down like-minded camps. Mm -hmm. You warning before he destroys America. And it's clear that America is done. That's right. And if yep. we don't give him one, then we're gonna be destroyed. That's right. I got that. I got that. What you call for though? What you quoted rather? This is Ezekiel chapter three, verse seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. The Lord ordained certain men, okay, to be watchmen, aka prophets. Which prophets? What do they do? They warn you. They tell you before mm -hmm. the house of Israel, which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. Yeah, come out of her, my people, you know, before you receive of her plagues. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Lord is warning you. This is the Lord talking. You know, this is this is of you how about Shemia was shy. The Lord just, he, he, the Lord literally made us go out there and, and prophesy. That's right. You know, to give warning. That's how much the Lord cares about us, you know, the Israelites. And look, look, regardless if they hear forbear, go out there and warn them. That's right. Some destroy this place. What he, what, the same thing he told Jeremiah. Go out there and prophesy against many kingdoms, countries, things of that nature of war, evil. 
and pestilence, man. That's what we do. Go ahead, Kabad. Con, this is Revelation 18 and 5. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, mm -hmm. and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Because remember, the scripture say, um, um, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole <laughs> earth. This man that committed so much wicked actually reached up into the heavens, man. Sin upon sin, sin upon sin, iniquity everywhere, man. This man has literally destroyed the whole earth, man. Remember, um, going right back into the Maccabees, it says, um, when Alexander ruled and then he died and his, he set up his four generals, wickedness yep. multiplied in the earth. Yep. As long as this devil is ruling, man, only thing you're gonna see being promoted is wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. this, devil not, this devil isn't righteous, so he's not gonna push anything righteous. You're gonna mourn for someone to Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, then the people rejoice. But as long as the wicked bear fruit, you're gonna always mourn, man. You're gonna always mourn. Israel's gonna always mourn as long as this wicked devil, uh, this red piece of shit is ruling, man. Yep. Some more to that come on. No, I had another precept. Yeah. It's Jeremiah 23, 26 and 3. It says, If it if so be they will hearken and turn every man from his evil way, that I will repent me of the evil which I propose to do unto them because of their evil doings. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, if ye would not hearken to me to walk in my law, which I have set before you, here's the point. To hearken to the words of my servants, the prophets whom I sent unto you, mm -hmm. both rising up early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, like you said, the Lord sent forth his servants right before that nuclear destruction hit. Mm -hmm. There ain't gonna be no excuse in that day for Jake, man. When that fire come, when the, when they um blow that trumpet and say this is not a test, this right. is a deal, you know what I'm saying? Get to your local bunker. <clears> they gonna, gonna say, What's a bunker? A club, a new club? <laughs> We need to go in there and dance or something like that? Nah, man. The at least ain't thinking about you, Jakes, man. Ain't nobody, ain't none of these different nations thinking about putting Jake somewhere safe, man. When this place, when this place, when you don't, mm -hmm. nobody ain't thinking about Jake in that day, man. Jake gonna literally burn here in America, man. Straight up, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, burn to a crisp, man. Mm -hmm. Just like going right back to um, Michael, um, Malachi 4 and 1. But I want to get this off the comment board. This is Ezekiel 35 and 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, aka mm -hmm. America, right? Set thy face against this place. You got these pastors talking about some God bless America, right? Those mm -hmm. are, those are we all need to pray, you know what I'm saying? We are the world, yeah. we are, and all that nonsense. No, man, set thy face against Mount Seir, man. You see, in Mount right. Seir, in Mount Seir, just like Israel is the people before us, a place, right? So we're not gonna go cross seas, you know what I'm saying. And go, you know, what I'm saying to the Middle East with Mount Syria, you know, what I'm saying start prophesying against the um the fucking structure. You no, know right. I'm saying no, man. We're gonna prophesy against the people, man. Our people before us a place sleaze to eat, Esau eat them. And look, and prophesy against it, man. You see, we prophesy against this place, man. And the Lord ain't gonna heal this place either, man. This place, right. is true, man. Go ahead, brothers. John. <clears throat> I got a, a precept, or, or I mean, we still got eight. So, Bob, you was finished with yours? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Go ahead, Aron. Kind of, um, I got a precept going in on what you were mentioning earlier about uh, Alexander the Creek. Yeah. Revelation uh, 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. Right, now horse represents power. And that red represents Esau, Edom. Okay. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. You just going to learn the hard way. Go ahead, bro. And power was given to and him. Power, the power was given to him. Job 9, 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And then you go right back to Malachi 1 and 4. It tells you who the wicked is. Yep. Esau, Edom is the wicked, man. They're ruling the earth right about now. Go ahead. It says, <clears throat> and power was given to him that sat thereon. To take peace from the earth. You got it. And it, it goes to show the Lord controls uh, both sides. You know, the Lord gave this devil rulership for a period of time. And he's he's playing his role. That's right. His role is to take peace from the earth. You know? It says, um, so we know peace ain't coming. Destruction right. is coming. It says, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Okay, which is one of his blessings. So he's getting ready to showcase his blessings at an all-time high. You know, mm -hmm. 
and he's he's preparing for these things because why he revelation 12 and 12 he knows his time is short you know and he wants to implement his nwo he's desperate at this point i got that mm-hmm. precept God. about that blessing this mm-hmm. is on genesis chapter 27 i'm gonna start at 38 and esau said it says father has thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also oh my father and esau lifted up his voice and wept and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Mm-hmm. And by thy sword shall thou live. Yep. And, and by thy sword shall thou rule. That's how this devil is ruling, his sword. Right. He's, he's a bully. He goes around and takes land resources, takes over different countries, you know, makes the nations um, be in subjection to his laws, mm-hmm. you know. So he's he's showcasing his sword. I mean, the Lord is giving you clues to exactly who's ruling. Right. You know, and the times that we're living in. So he's getting ready to show his, he's going to showcase his great sword. You know, you, you get ready to see martial law get implemented. You get ready to see, you know, different uh, types of robots roaming the street, you know, shooting at people who's outside past the curfew. Right. You know, uh, um, different, you know, different types of uh, weapons this devil has. That's right. You know, the scripture says. He that lives by the sword shall die by the sword. So ultimately, he's going to be destroyed by the nuclear um, uh, destruction. Yes, he, he was given a sword to take peace from the earth. And then it also tells you um, he covered fields and he take them by violence. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fields represents land. You know what I'm saying? So wherever this devil go, man, it, say, it says death follows behind this devil, man. Yep. That's why we got to prophesy against this man. You see? It says, um, and shall serve thy brother, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass. When thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt have, it's like it, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. But the point was, who was blessing with the sword? Sleazy eat. Esau eat him, right? You got it. All right. And uh, that's pretty much it on uh, Revelation. I got this Nahum right quick. <clears throat> this is Nahum chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody. Oh, yeah, let's finish that. Uh, let's finish that, um, that Amos one more time. Con, Amos 9 and uh, 8. Yeah. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. Right. Hey, this, this devil, no sense talking about who seeth him. This devil got the nerve to say, Who seeth me? Nobody don't see what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm destroying the earth. I, I, yeah, yeah, I polluted the water and what? You know what I'm saying? This devil, like, yeah, I polluted the air and what? Right. I created GMOs, you know what I'm saying, to get you fucked up and, and destroys your body and what? 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 What are you gonna do about it? We ain't gonna do nothing but promise our issue though, and and our power, no sense, gonna come take you down. We ain't got no power. Our That's only right. power is bringing out this word, That's which right. is sharper than any two-edged sword. That's why this word is cutting this devil to pieces, man. Anytime right. brothers do a video starting off with the head of apostles slash elder bishops or great millstone, this devil take it down, down. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because he ain't sleeping right at night, man. Because mm-hmm. we're cutting, man. You know, you know, you waking up with his eyes all big, popping oh, yeah. up in the bed. You know what I'm saying, bro? I was gonna turn in that bed. Yeah. Woe, woe to the bloody city. Time. That's it right. Woe means, means destruction. Oh. Right. That bloody city represents America. That's how it right. was established. Of the blood of, of of our ancestors, man. That's right. Bro. All right. And we were some of those ancestors back then. Right. Right. Okay. Of the of the blood of the uh, uh, the Gadites, Reubenites, Iscarites. On down to the the Judites, all right, the Southern Kingdom when it was brought over in cargo slave ships. That's right, right. It says, "Um, woe to the bloody city." And I got a precept, <laughs> Nahum chapter thirty-five, verse thirty-three. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. That's for, right. For blood yeah, yeah. is of the land. That's right, because blood defileth the land, man. Right. And, and what 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 happened, man? The, the slaughter, all right. The genocide of the Israelites, man, all 12 tribes. For blood, it defiles the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed. That, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. That's right. So you want to make America great again? It starts with this this precept right here in, in the book of Numbers, man. Right. It starts with this precept right here. That's that's how you're gonna make America great again, aka right. Babylon. It starts with the bloodshed of of you uh you Edomites, man. Right. That's right. 
Yeah, look, look, because going right back to um, what is it, um, y'all? Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. The most high required that which is past, man. Mm -hmm. Set thy face against Mount Seir, prophesy against it. T mm -hmm. Tell tell um Sleazy what's gonna happen before it even happened, man. You mm -hmm. see? So going right back, num uh, Nahum chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. Yeah, man. That's right. The main lies who that what? Uh Bashim was shot, the so-called white men, right? right? His people are, 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 are a bunch of uh, nobodies, and right. that they're the people of the Lord. I mean, as many lies as this devil has came with, man, and deceived the people with, man. Right. All full of lies and robbery. Who 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 did this man put his hands on? The Israelites, the apple of the Lord's eye. Right. Stole our nationalities. Stole st literally, literally stole people. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yet you you do that in this man's kingdom, you're being locked up. But look, we're calling the charges out on you, Esau. Right. And we're using the scriptures to do so. That's right. That's if I may say that's why the scriptures say, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, man. Right. This is your turn to be rejoicing and living it up because the next stop for you is shackles and chains. That's mm -hmm. right. According to the Bible. That's right. The prey depart of not. And we are the prey, man. All right. We 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 we're the prey for every nation, man. Mainly the Edomites. <clears throat> I always talk. I always, I always talk about some. Um, if you don't like it here, you can leave. Mm -hmm. This devil no here and getting letting us go nowhere, man. He just like Pharaoh, man. Y'all mm -hmm. can leave. Y'all can leave. No, you can't. Y'all can leave. No, you can't. I said y'all can leave. No, you can't. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. We need on everything, man. No. Nope. You know. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, 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 General Johanna had a point though when he said, you know, they're not gonna work them jobs. Oh no, they, they know y'all gonna work them jobs. Right, right. They give you the best. Right. <laughs> these these probably probably gotta go too. Man. When Babylon, <laughs> when Babylon go, they gonna go. One Back. more, one more precept, bro. Have a <laughs> Habakkuk chapter two verse twelve. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. Mm-hmm. And that's how this town, uh, this city of America was built with blood off the backs of our people, man. And a you know step. Go ahead. One, one Jake dies on the job. Hey, look, go get his son. Go get his uh his uh his cousin. Go 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 get him, boy. Mm -hmm. Shit, Jake, Jake down on the damn job. They just pick Jake up, you know what I'm saying? Just throw him over there to the side or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. And the other Jake's better pick up that load. Yep. And establish yep. a city by iniquity. Mm. And establish a city through iniquity, man. All right. His ways has con uh, went against the ways of the heavenly Father, man. He did. He, he claimed he made uh, treaties and peace deals, but he broke them all, man. Mm -hmm. And he broke them all with his blessing, which was the sword. Yeah. So we, I just read. Um, what was it? Um, Psalms fifty-five. That man mouth was smoother than um butter. You know what I'm saying, but war was in his heart. And then mm -hmm. say he established a city by iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness, man, witchcraft. That's why that's how America was founded off of witchcraft, man. Mm -hmm. You understand? Um, fucking Obelix and all that. You know what I'm saying, bro? Obelix, you know what I'm saying, actually from Egypt. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They right. brought Obelix is actually from Egypt, man. You know, gifts. Gifts, gifts for the so-called forefathers, man. George mm -hmm. Washington and the boys. You know what I'm saying? Right. All, them, all them boys going into slavery. All right. right. Them boys, them boys, them boys, them boys, them boys, then right, them boys, them boys, those <laughs> all are going to slavery, man. Yep, that's right. Hey, Rob, make sure you get in there, make sure you break some of the scriptures down, too, bro. Get in there, come on, come on. If I may add real fast, um, if you watch the end of Apocalypto, when you had a, a crystal ball cologne coming over at the end, they showed a, a, a brief snippet of uh, uh, Esau on the ships. And they had a Bible in one hand, a cross in the other hand. Yep. Yeah. You know, that's part of that, that witchcraft that they came with. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember the scripture say he um he, he was giving power to deceive all the nations. Yep. Put put a put a um put a put um a byword and a proverb on every nation, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Call call Moab Chinese. <laughs> right. Call Ammon Japanese. Right. Call Israel um some black Latino and Native American Indian. Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying call mm -hmm. call um call Ishmael no saying um Arab mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? call um 
What was, what was the other one? Ishmael, um, um them dot heads. And in, uh Indians. Indian. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, that's um that's another name for them though. Them dot head East Indies. Yeah. Their nationality is um Elam. Elam. Elam, yeah, Elam. Elam. They call Elam uh, East Indian. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a savage from the east. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? A covering cast over all the people, man. Mm-hmm. That's why no, no, nobody know who they are right about now. Right. And then, and then, and then here's the ticker. Here's the big, big kicker and ticker. And call they sell white. Yep. Pure. And call mm-hmm. they sell white, man. Called us black, you know what I'm saying? Void of white, dark, evil. And yeah. called itself evil. <laughs> and called itself white, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the devil called itself white, man. The son of a deceiver. Y'all got it. I got a quick one. Okay. This is uh, Proverbs 26 and 25. When he speak of fair, believe him not. For there are seven abominations in his heart. Yep. Hey, what is abomination? The wicked, filthy act. He's looking to destroy you. That's why the scripture said, never trust thine enemy, which, by the way, I'm holding. But this devil has a history of not following through on his word. So now we're in the times where we're seeing that he's clearly being contrary to what, what he say he's going to do. He said that he wasn't going to mandate it a year ago, year and a half ago. He mandated it. He said the children wasn't going to have to take it. Children is required to take it. Right. He said that you weren't going to be fired from your job if you didn't take it. Right. The majority of these people were fired from their job because they didn't take it. Hell yeah. The scriptures say, never trust my enemy. This devil will destroy you. And then the thing about it, I'm you know, saying, just to add on what you said, Ron, and then you got uh, people that did take it, got all messed up and uh, combobulated and all that. And then this man said, look, you might as well go on and quit. <laughs> well, look, we don't, we don't need you anymore. Yep. And then through his policy, he made it to where you couldn't sue him or nothing, man. Yep. Mm. That's the devil for you, man. I got a quick precept for what you just said. Ecclesiastes, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach chapter 12, verse 10, never trust thine enemy. Yeah, never trust this so-called white man, this devil, or these heathen nations, man. Or two-thirds of our own people. Okay, it's, but ultimately... It's with, talk- it's with them. That's with them, you know? They, they join hands with them, that, that pick the side. And it's, it's a quote in this uh, The Matrix movie where it's saying that the dangerous thing about The Matrix is that you have people that will fight for it. Yeah. You have people that will fight for this Matrix, man, this devil system. Right. They never trust this devil because he's what? He's looking to harm you, to destroy you. Can't forget about the Georgia Guidestones. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. You're, look, look, trying to uh, make uh, um, population of saying to uh, 500 million. When it's 7.5 billion people on the face of the earth, man. Look, look, bro, through his policies, man. You know what I'm saying? He he caused craft to prosper in his hand. Witchcraft. And and by mm-hmm. and by peace destroy many. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Right now he's somewhere destroying right. somebody, man. Right now. He in a lab somewhere right now. Or he's somewhere, you know what I'm saying, shooting some nukes at somebody that's not being reported. That's why the Lord burned up like a thousand fucking houses over there in Colorado, man. Mm-hmm. Rich people houses, big houses, man. Bring them to a crisp, man. Good riddance, man. Never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusts, so is his wickedness. Yeah, his wickedness is sure is going to creep up at some point in time. You know, if you keep an eye on this devil, you're going to clearly see that this devil, he, he's wicked. He's your enemy. But then you got a majority of our people, they're, they're drunk off his deception. Deception yeah. is a hell of a drug. Okay? That our people are drunk off of. So, they're experiencing things in their life uh, of regret. Right. You know, wishing they didn't take that thing, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. But guess what? The, the strong delusions the Lord has on, on, on two-thirds, <laughs> they're going to continue to follow this man's system and do what he says and ultimately be destroyed. That's right. I'm going to jump got, down. Go ahead, Kabat. I had that quick preset, that Proverbs 11. Uh, it says, yo. <laughs> Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand joining hand, the wicked should not be unpunished, mm-hmm. but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Yeah, you got a lot of our people <clears throat> got, uh, who's supposed to be higher in, in status in this society. You know, the, um, what do you call that guy? The uh, Magic Johnson and all these guys. Yeah. You know, uh, promoting. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, um, <laughs> you know, 
the the cross dresser the car the cross dresser yeah you know all them promoting and pushing this thing joining hands <laughs> with this devil thinking that you know this is the side to be on not realizing this devil gonna be destroyed and they're gonna be destroyed right. with you. Mm -hmm. okay but we know the elect lord willing we be part of that number will be saved will be delivered oh yeah the scripture said if it was possible he would deceive the elect you know what i'm saying yep. but it ain't possible man it ain't possible if it was possible this devil <laughs> look at this man this place got to go yeah. man yeah look at these dudes in new orleans man looking all crazy man. Well, a leather black suit, you know what I'm saying? They got Cardi B, you know what I'm saying, hosting the um that's what I'm saying. They got Cardi B, you know what I'm saying, hosting the fucking or or, or Cardi B look alike. <laughs> hosting the damn um fucking Times Square joint. Yeah. The dude with the Batman suit on? Yeah. See what I'm saying, bro? It's too much, right? <laughs> he said Batman suit. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I look, I, I want um I just want to add on to what Kabad said, and then I'm gonna go right back to that. So rock for you, Ara. This is um Isaiah. Not not Isaiah, but um Proverbs 29. I want to get this right quick, Lord willing. Proverbs mm -hmm. 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. You, you think anybody rejoicing right now? You got people get kicked out of their cribs. You got you got somebody right now that's been told they have to their legs has to be amputated, you know, from a disease. You got somebody right now who lost their job. <laughs> rejoicing? Because the righteous is not ruling right now, and this is why we're looking forward to the, the destruction of America. We That's want right. Rejoice, big right? ass wigs on. I'm saying all in the New Times Square, big ass wigs. I'm saying outrageous <laughs> looking suits. Some some five, four, three, two, one, and all that. Yo, we, it's a New Year's Eve of destruction. You look, it's so many live streams going on right about now. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Of of the men <laughs> on up with the head apostles, elder bishops, or great millstone, and men on down, and the council affiliated men giving sleeves to eat and two thirds any seat of the business, man. Right. Chain down, down to Babylon, man. Chain, Babylon falling. Mm -hmm. Babylon falling. That's right. Oh, man. Flee Babylon. Mm -hmm. Babylon falling. When the righteous right. are authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And that's why people are grieved, man. This man is mandating things and making things required. People are catching hell. The, the air is polluted. Right. The water is polluted. <clears throat> Kids got to go to school with the face coverings on all right. day. Barely can breathe. Mm -hmm. Everybody's mourning. The, the, the animals are mourning, man. The trees are being cut down. Their habitation, where they live. No, nope. the kids supposed to be running around somewhere. You know what I'm saying, getting getting exercise. You know what I'm saying, getting that energy off, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sitting in that all they're looking through out here, man. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why we get. We, that's why we must hasten the day. That's why we must constantly mm -hmm. pray to you. How about you now? Try to make a speedy riddance of this place, man. That's right. You know, I got a precept. Yep. Backing you up. This is Proverbs 28 and 15. Yeah. It says, "As a roaring lion and a raging bear." So is a wicked ruler over the poor people. Mm -hmm. Looking to devour you, you know, like a, like a bear or a lion. Yeah. You know, and he's hiding in lurking places. Looking right. for an opportunity, just like a lion crouches down, you know, when he sees his prey, you know, and he makes a move. That's that's his devil for you. So while everybody's partying, these majority of these people partying, this devil is somewhere getting prepared. Passing laws and everything. Mm-hmm. Hell, when when the new year, so-called new year, because it ain't no new year in the dead of winter now, at mi at midnight. Hmm. Can't wait to the midnight hour. Come on, man, this man through man. Look, everybody got on masks looking through. Everybody, still trying to be <coughs> still trying to be this dude. That's what I'm saying, man. This whole place is through, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Can't wait till we get in the kingdom, man. We're gonna party show no. Not right now, though, because the brother read Micah 2 and 10. This is not our rest. Didn't you read that, bro? Uh-huh. Micah 2 and 10. This is not our rest, man. It's this place straight up polluted, though, man. You we hate to even go outside, man. But we gotta get our daily bread. We gotta be a monk. We gotta get exercise. We gotta go out and get air, parks and things of that nature. But we, if we had an hour away, <coughs> man. Cause every time you go outside, you're gonna see um, a peanut butter chaser. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gonna you gonna see a you gonna see a juice drinker <laughs> bragging about how much juice they drunk. Mm -hmm. Had somebody early, you know what I'm saying, to drop me off. Some dude was bragging to him, and he was bragging to that dude about how much juice they drink. Something really is getting crazy out here. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really is getting crazy out here. And while they were saying that, I was looking at 144. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Call so, yeah, man. Watching it's, all good, man. it's all good, man. The Lord going to protect his, man. <coughs> Once again, so Rock uh, 12 and 13, who would pity a charm of this bit with the serpent? Yeah, who's going to feel sorry for <clears throat> any of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and to get caught up in there because you wanted to trust the enemy? You know, you get destroyed or you, you know, get put to death. Or you catch a disease. Who's going to pity you? The Lord has been warning you. We read um, Ezekiel 3 and 17. The Lord is telling you this is not your rest. The Lord is telling you, look, death and destruction is on the way. Right. So when this devil reveals who he really is and how he feels about you Israelites and you you join this program, who's going to pity you? It says, um, or any such as come nigh wild beasts. Mm -hmm. you, you are coming near a bear in his habitation. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's going he's going to attack you. You playing with you playing with fire. I was just going to say, bro, you see a damn cave, you go to crawling up in the cave being all nosy and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a bear in that thing, you know what I'm saying? But you up in there playing around. All right. Yep. And that best the, the best swipe your ass off, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You go to looking all crazy. Yep. Swipe your whole ass off, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You run up out of the cave with no ass. Imagine that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I'm going to read verse 16, Sirach, um 12, 16, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Mm -hmm. that's, that's one of his um his um his characteristics. Yeah. You no, know, he's a serpent. He right. wants to speak smooth things, you know? He knows how to do the non-verbal communication skills. Not, you know, the background is blue and non-threatening. Right. <laughs> the whole time this devil, he has it out for you. He know how to move his eyeballs the right way, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right, testers, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. It's, and enemy speaking sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, he imagined him how to throw thee into a pit. Yeah, in his heart, he's like, Man, I, I, I can't wait to destroy these. Uh, Israel. right, right. I want my birthright back, right? right. Mm -hmm. It says, Um, <clears throat> it says, He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he would not be satisfied with blood. Oh, yeah. This devil's looking to destroy you. When he find an opportunity to get you, he's gonna make his move. Right. You know, he's not even satisfied with says he's not satisfied with blood. You know, so these are the times we're living in where you're gonna see more of this devil show his true horns, you know, against the Israelites. Because what like the brother mentioned through the spirit before, uh, earlier, you know, he's trying to get his birth uh, right back. Okay, with something he can't he can't do. Right. If adversity and, and would never do. Would never the, birth, the birthright won't <coughs> anyway, man. Before the foundations of the earth was even formed, the birthright was going to be Jacob's anyway. So right. Not, remember, the Lord said in Romans, before they did any <laughs> good or bad, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what I'm saying? It was already mm -hmm. established already, pretty much, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So so really knowing, it says, um, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. That's right. Any <laughs> adversity that ever happens, you can point back to this right. duck. Oh, shit funny, right? Yeah. yeah funny. You know, this devil is constantly in mischief. He's he's the one, mm -hmm. whenever there's adversity or issues, something going on, especially when you join this program, just remember you trusted in this devil. You know? Damn. If if ever, I may say, go ahead, brother. You got it. You, you look at those 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 entertainers, those comedians, Martin, uh 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 what What's was right, <laughs> Cat Williams. You know, everybody thought they was going crazy. Yep. Right, you know, at, at the end of the day, they knew that that hell that it was catching was coming from one of the little hats, man. Yep. Yeah, that mm. that, devil, that devil that devil was literally, you no know saying, literally trying to kill him, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Well, huh? well, Prince and Michael Jackson knew that too before. Yeah. They yeah. Yep. You're what Michael Jackson say they don't really care about us. Yep. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Then, then what does Michael Jackson say? Um, somebody's always watching me. Yep. I can't have no privacy. Yep. <laughs> I can't get no privacy. Somebody's always watching me, man. Mm -hmm. It says, um, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee. Yeah, he, hey, hey, just take it. <clears throat> I want to help you out. You know, don't you want to help? Don't you want to um you, you, you want to be uh don't you love your neighbor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Don't take you care it. about don't you care about humanity? Right. 
Don't you believe in science? Oh yeah, what, what do you say, bro? If you if you don't if you're not gonna do it for yourself, do it for your family. You know right, right. Come on, man. Look, look, look. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Yeah, he's gonna try to undermine you. That's why the scriptures say, uh, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times." Mm -hmm. You have to apply the wisdom. Right. So you won't be undermined by the opposition. Esau right. is the ops. Right. You Ain't know, it, all, bro? He's the ops. He's looking to take you out, man. You know when you, when you're when you're caught off guard. Yeah, I got that definition of undermine. He is a damn op, though, ain't it, though? <laughs> you got it, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, it says to sabotage. Damn. Mm, to damn. spoil. That man's uh, sabotaging our people, bro. He's spoiling them. Yo, he's spoiling. He's robbing their mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jake already gone already. You know what I'm saying? Jake already got Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. Jake gone already, bro. Mm -hmm. It says... Cripple and injure. Damn. Damn. And that's exactly what this devil trying to do. Cripple and injure our people. Yep. This devil going head first into captivity, though. That's right. The beautiful <laughs> thing. I, I got a quick one right quick. You finish with that combined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. And that's why th through the spirit, Lord willing, we be a part of that number. We can't be undermined. Because through the power and spirit of us, I was shy. We're not ignorant, meaning we're not um, uh, um, unaware. Okay? Well, ignorant means to not know, right? Of what this devil's uh, intentions are. So we are clearly, we, look, through the power and spirit of us, I was shy. We ahead of this devil. Right. We already know what his intentions are. He's trying to bring... The, the MOTB. Right. And these are different gradual stages that are being performed to get to the ultimate goal. And that's the Revelation 13 and 16, verse 17. Cyborgs. No? So, you know, we we have to use and apply the scriptures in our life so we won't be undermined by this devil because he's on he, he's on the defense. <clears throat> what was that? I quoted it earlier. Um, he covered fields. One day, one day then, um, that's still a micro. That's still a micro. I'll oh, get it. A micro, right? Yeah, I'll get it. No, I'll get it for you. Come on. This is on Micah chapter two. Yeah. Micah chapter two, verse, do you want it, right? Come on, yeah, bring it. Yeah. Micah chapter two, verse one. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Mm hmm. Script says, woe means destruction on him that devise iniquity. And that's all this devil does, man. Ways of bringing evil upon on, upon the people, man. Right. Mainly our people. There was yeah, unrighteous that, law. That, that man, that, his whole system is, is is crooked as hell, though, man. Mm -hmm. That man devises iniquity, man. Uh huh. His whole system was set up upon iniquity, man. Sin upon sin, wickedness, and work evil upon their beds. And look, and work evil, bad times when they land down. You know, you lay down in bed at night, you may gather your thoughts from the day. You know, <laughs> you know, if the Lord allows you to wake up, what you gonna do the next day? Well, that's what this devil does, man. Oh, yeah. If I put more uh 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 fluoride in the water, fluoride yeah. in the water, you know, if if I put more uh dolphin piss in the Vanessa, you yeah. know. Yeah, you know, just, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> if, if, I add, if I add some more sugar to the juice, you know what I'm saying? You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. You know, look, man. This man, look. He's a he's a mastermind of thinking of ways to uh, uh, to hurt the people. Mm -hmm. But that's look, it's gonna all come back to him, man. Because the scripture said we should meditate terrorists upon this devil, mm -hmm. man. <clears throat> so he it's gonna come back to him in the kingdom. If I add some more bat shit to that chicken noodle soup, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woe to them, destruction unto them mm -hmm. that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. That's right. So when the Lord wake these devils up, right, they go and practice it. Going back to, once again, Job 9 and 24, <clears throat> the earth being given into their hands. All right, they practice it, but now look, we're coming in the time where the the Lord is is taking that power away from them, man. Yeah, you know, so they got a spirit of the process. 
No, I'm just gonna say killer robots and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, these dude, these dude got nanobots. You know what I'm saying like little flies. You know what I'm saying? It's just and little nets and shit just coming in your crib. Thing is a fly and shit, but it's um, it's a robot. You know what I'm saying? Fly mm-hmm. with fucking yep. camera on and everything. You know? Mm-hmm. You like damn? Y'all spray that motherfucker with that raid and I ain't dead. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't a real fly, man. Right. It's a fucking fly robot, man. They are everywhere mm-hmm. too, though, man. Following you all to the bus stop. Following you mm-hmm. all to work, flying behind you. <laughs> Come on, man. This devil is the devil, man. They don't call him sleazy for nothing. Yeah. It says when the morning is light, you practice it because it is given in the power of their hand. That's mm-hmm. right. They put it into into play. Robot you know? dogs, like the brother said. You got a kibosh lock. Oh no, nah, no. Nah. Mm-hmm. That's right, man. You know, because look, they have the power in their hands to do so. Who's going right. to stop them? Except for the one that gave them the power. That's right. So the scripture says ways are always grievous, man. Every time you turn around, this devil's up to something, man. Mm-hmm. Every time you turn around, hey, um, brother on the comment boards, make sure y'all put the scriptures up too now. All you moderators, you know what I'm saying? If the, um, the board get too outrageous, start blocking them, man. We ain't got time to be playing around. Put those scriptures up there, brothers. You know, y'all know, y'all know, add on. But those scriptures up there, please. Or because if not, no saying the moderator is gonna get you out of there now. Mm-hmm. It says um verse two, Michael chapter. Look, look, we live we living in a time of definite instruction, man. Can't be playing around. Add on. Mm-hmm. Michael chapter two, verse um, Michael chapter two, verse two. They cover fields and take them by violence. Yeah, man. They cover fields is mean really means they desire something that's not theirs. Yep. Right? Yep. And they do it through what? Through violence. Right. Through his blessing, through the sword, the Gatling gun. They didn't do it, do it through treaties. They didn't do it through, uh, 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 um, you know, contracts. Well, they, right. they in a sense, but they fool Gad with a lot of those contracts. They got Gad mm-hmm. drunk, you know, and made him sign certain things. But mainly it was through his sword. Yeah, he had a sword to the women, knives, um, necks and all that, and the babies and mm-hmm. all that. If you don't sign this contract, we're gonna burn the whole village down, so forth and so on, and we'll mm-hmm. kill everybody anyway, and then take it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a quick precept, bro. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna come right back. Um, Psalms chapter um, Psalms chapter eleven, verse um five. The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hated. Yes, yeah, so the Lord hates Esau, man. Because his soul desires nothing but what? Wickedness, evilness, hurt, harm, pain, danger, bad times upon the app, really upon the apple of the Lord's eye. And anyone who gets in the way of him destroying the apple of the Lord's eye, which is the Israelites. The Lord said the man that loveth violence, which we know that's sleazy. He, the Lord said he hates his devil, man. Mm-hmm. And remember, the Lord said, no, I'm saying the Lord said, um, it was light affliction what he did to the children of Israel, and he loved us. So, so imagine what he's gonna do to Sleazy, man. Just imagine what he's gonna do to Sleazy E, brothers. Yeah. It says, upon the wicked, he shall rain, rain snares, fire, and brimstone. Mm-hmm. That's right. And the that's gonna come ultimately in this upcoming uh, war, man, World War yeah. Three. This, this devil, now we're just gonna say, bro, this devil don't even want to say in World War Three no more. Damn. Yeah, man. The Lord said, the Lord said he's gonna rain fire, snare the fire. You're gonna trap him up first. Yep. Mm-hmm. This devil created a missile just to destroy him own self, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fire and brimstone and the horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Damn. That's right. It should be the portion of their cup. And you're and you're seeing the Lord visiting the earth through these tempests, these storms, where they can't build back better. Right, right. There's too much destruction going throughout the four corners of the earth, mainly here in America, man. Got these house, these uh wildfires in Colorado. Yeah, you know, yeah. Shit, it came on the news, it came on the news. Now I'm just gonna say it came on the news a few minutes ago. And this morning it was 500. <laughs> a few minutes ago, it was over a thousand homes got burnt to a crisp. They had to run out of daycares and everything, man. Hauling ass, man. Smoke everywhere. Barely even making it out of the neighborhood because it was so much smoke you can't even drive, man. Damn. But the Lord is visiting a Babylon America, man, with them mm-hmm. pigs. 
Just mm-hmm. like ancient Egypt, this modern day Egypt, the Lord, man, shit, man. You don't want to be here, man, when the Lord really bring hell to this place, man. You mm-hmm. want to be in the chariot, man. That's right. right. I, I got a precept, too, if I can. I got one, too. I got that last little part of Micah, then y'all got it? Okay. Going right back, Micah chapter 2, verse 2. And they cover fields and take them by violence mm. in, in houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man <clears throat> and his heritage. And that has happened to us, man. And the Lord told us in Thessalonians, first Thess- second Thessalonians, the first chapter, it is a righteous thing to recompense tribulation that those have troubled thee. Mm-hmm. All right, this man has taken everything away from us, our house, our heritage, our our, our, our children, everything, you name it, man. Oh yeah, says, oh, yeah, it says um, they oppress a man, too, so they make it to where we can't even rule our own household, man. Nope. They mm-hmm. pass laws to where if you yell at your woman, it's called verbal abuse. Yep. You know this devil's going to pay brothers? Yep. Mm-hmm. This last little part, did you want to add on to that, Kabat? You got it, bro. This last part, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, behold, I am against this family. Right. So the Lord is saying he's against this family, which represents America, because this is the hub for Esau, the so-called white man, woman and child, man. So the Lord is against him and against this place. It says, uh, it says, I am against this family. Therefore, thus say the Lord, behold, I am against this family. Uh, it says, um, against this family, do I devise an evil? Yeah. So the Lord is devising an evil right now. The Lord got something cooking up in the kitchen for this double. Right, and, and we're telling you. No, I'm just gonna say, so I, I was talking to somebody, I don't know if it was one of y'all, but I was talking to somebody. Those houses that was being burnt up, you know what I'm saying? Today is, is some of the people that led us into captivity, man. Yep, you know what I'm saying? They, look, because you know, they got them private towns, you know what I'm saying? To where mm-hmm. we can't even go. That's some of them private towns, just like I um, remember Paradise, California. Yep, yeah. Jay couldn't go up in there, so the Lord burned it to a fucking crisp. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Bert, look, had bodies still in the car, baking like on oh, it's still sizzling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Those skeletons were still sizzling, brothers. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Smoke was still coming from them skulls, the top of them skulls, man. That's right. That's right. This, this is the Lord judging these devils what they did us, man. So he's going to please the cause of his children Israel, man. Mm-hmm. It says, look, 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 against this family do I devise an evil from which you shall not remove yourselves. Mm-mm. You're going to be able to escape. You, look, we wasn't able to escape. We wasn't right. able to get out of the situation that the Lord put us in. How much more the, the people that he hate? I mean, you got to think about that, man. The Lord's going to bring evil upon evils upon evils upon these right. people, Edomites, man. And they're going to they're, they're gonna wish they, they, they was out of, you know, gave up the spirit, man. They're going to wish they were never um, created, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Y'all got it. Come. <clears throat> you, want, you want to go first to buy with your precept? Uh, you got it, bro. I, I, I'll come last. <clears throat> um, I got Zechariah 1 and 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased and they helped forward the affliction. That's right, man. They have help uh, for our affliction, you know, these other heathens. Because you can't forget about them, man. They 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 played a part in our downfall as well. So just as much as we talk about destruction upon, you know, Esau, Edom, and America, and the, these heathens going to be part, part partakers of that. That's right. You know? And, and if I could chime in, too, Esau, after we, uh, you know, went through our captivity, he was supposed to let us go at some point in time, let us right. know the Israelites and give us our land back. Yep. But he for the affliction, you know. The Lord is sore displeased at this devil. That's right. The scripture says he has a righteous indignation. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I believe it says forever. Yeah. You know, a righteous indignation forever uh, against the the board of wickedness, which are the Edomites. That's right. You know. I and mean, if I can just bring out one more, Bubba Kasha. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But I was gonna say, you, you know, you you think about, you know, you got a, a child. Someone does something to your child. You know what I'm saying? You you may, you know, forgive them, but you still got in your head, like, yo, you know, I don't like this person. <laughs> you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 18. It says, pride go up before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. So, 
Yeah, yeah they, they, man, this devil is full of pride. He actually, you know, thinks that he's going to be able to continue his his kingdom on, you know, forever. But mm -hmm. he, sadly, will he be mistaken? Okay, sadly mistaken, man. You're not going to be able to extend your kingdom. You're not going to be able to implement your NWO agenda. You're not going to be able to chip up, you know, uh, these people, uh, every person on earth, man. Because the elect, the Lord says, going he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. Lord willing, we'd be a part of that number. Mm -hmm. You know? So you're going to fall, a great fall. You're never going to rise again. You're going to go into slavery for a thousand years. And uh, based on Obadiah, okay, a prophecy to take place, the Edomites are, are going to be eradicated off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. A thousand years of hardcore slavery. And then, as you mentioned through the spirit goodbye earlier about um, we're going to meditate terror. That's why that's why that's why this place is fucking going down, man. Shit, that, look, we, look, we, we glad there ain't no grocery stores highly open. I know, right? You know what I'm saying? We glad, you no know saying shit. You you, you got to drink the juice to go to the restaurants. It's showing us that the Lord is making good on His word, man. Everything we see going on there is showing us that the Lord's making good on His word, man. He bringing misery upon the whole earth, man. If you if you juice drinkers are going through more hell than you was before you even took the juice, you know what I'm saying? Go through more hell, man. Hmm. You know. One quick one, brothers. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Mm. That's right. That her represents the whore. That whore represents America. Right. Right. That all the nations have them laid down with. Right. Because that's what a whore does. And they lay down with her spiritually. Right. Taking on her ways. That's why the nations are mad now. Taking on her democracy and all that mm -hmm. nonsense, man. Which ain't nothing, ain't nothing about this place. This place ain't no democracy. Democracy means the people make the laws. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody making no damn laws. They making the laws, man. Yep. How you gonna say this is a democracy when the people don't make no damn laws? <clears throat> you know what I'm right. saying? The people gotta follow the laws that y'all making. Them politicians ain't shit, but witches and warlocks. Come yep. on, man. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Mm -hmm. Air. Water, the minds of the people, the food, you name it, man. To mm -hmm. the oppressing city. You know, oppression making for wise man mad, right? This mm -hmm. place don't do nothing but oppress people, man. Going back to what we read earlier, you know what I'm saying? Our ways are grievous, man. You see? Anytime you're in an oppressive state, you know what I'm saying? Oppressed, depressed, suppressed. What the fuck, man? Every press that you can think of, man. <laughs> Compress, you know what I'm saying? You name it, man. This place promotes that, man. Say so this place ain't nothing but a, a pot full of scum, man. Yep, nope. yep. And the Lord, because they gonna make a move on it. And the Lord said, um, He's bringing evil upon these people that they would not be able to escape, man. You got mm -hmm. it, brother. Okay, this is um, Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You saw how, how the Lord did Sodom and Gomorrah, how he overthrew that. People was wicked as hell. You know what I'm saying? And they weren't going to never stop. If the Lord wouldn't have never destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah in the three neighboring cities, through the mm -hmm. five cities and all, they would still be going on, man. Yep. The Lord left that for an example, man, of what mm -hmm. not to do and how not to rule a kingdom. But what did Sleazy he do? He came back, man, and, and outdid Sodom and Gomorrah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? This mm, devil yep. came right back and out did mm -hmm. Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, he said, I'm gonna do a better one, yo. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <clears throat> he got a whole country. Sodom and Gomorrah won number of um five five cities. This right. man got a whole continent, man. Mm -hmm. Whole continent, brothers. You know what I'm saying? And he pushed forth his madness throughout the four corners of the earth. Yep. Yep. Y'all got it. You want to say something, Ra? No, no, I mean uh, uh Hawaii said exactly what I was um uh, thinking through the spirit. Okay. And it ain't gonna change either, man. This place ain't gonna change. So change, change that you can live. You that you can love. What that do? What that fucking Obama say? That him might say change that you you would love. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know, change that you would die for. Come on, man. Try <laughs> change. Come on, man. Right. <clears throat> I saw an article um the other day where the uh, alphabet community they're setting up um. Peanut butter uh, chases, you mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're setting up uh, re recruiting uh, events. <laughs> like you recruit some. <laughs> <You> <laughs> well, man, case. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> 
Yeah, I thought about that when I read this 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 precept, you know. And that's one of the reasons why this place has to be destroyed, and it's going to be destroyed. It's going to, it's destruction coming to this place, man. Mm-hmm. You see? A, 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 a place to recruit. Yeah, you, you like a good candidate. Come on, man. That's wickedness, man. Right. You know? It says, verse 20, Isaiah 13 and 20, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. Only thing that's going to, now I was going to say, only thing that's going to dwell here after the smoke clears, so to speak, is desert creatures, man. All right? It ain't going to be nobody coming out of a bunker, man. Looking all crazy, eyes all bugged out with ashes on their head and all that. So, so where did everybody go? Nah, man. That ain't happening, man. Right. We're gonna make a speedy riddance of this place, man. Right. Uh, I got I got something for you, Ra. Was no. that was the end of that kabat? Uh no, nah, it reads out. It says, um, Isaiah 13 and 21. It says, But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And mm-hmm. owls shall dwell there, and strays shall dance there. Then you know, no saying this place is out of here, man. All right, ain't no. Come on, man. They, they always somebody. They always somebody. They always. I heard somebody say something about what twenty three fourteen something like that. <laughs> twenty three fourteen. These devils have lost their mind, man. And, and they got they got the men looking like women, and the women looking like men. Yep. Know what I'm saying? Yep. Y'all watching what I'm watching. Yeah, those are Jake's too. Those yeah. are BTS yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But but you see how they got them all looking right yep. all feminine though, right? What? Let's get this though. This is Psalms 140. And um, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start up some and then I'm gonna jump down. Psalms 140 and one. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. The evil man are the Edomites, the so-called white people. We we read that they had the great sword, it was what took peace from the earth. The only way we're gonna actually be delivered is is from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So we're pleading to the Lord to deliver us, you know, out of the, these troubles that ultimately the Lord is bringing. That's you right. Because the scriptures say, "Um, Lord created everything unto Himself, yea, even the wicked, for the day of evil." Kabai um, clicked off. Yeah, he, he. I think his uh laptop froze. Um, Psalms one forty. If he come back on, I come. I bring him back on. Psalms 140 and 1, deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. But then, bro, you got people on, come on, they don't believe in Lord Yahweh Shai. So how the, how the hell is they going to get delivered from the evil man? We, we, we Look, we're depending on our Savior to deliver us from this evil man, man. Yep. Preserve me from the violent man. Mm-hmm, from the, the violent man. This man is a, is, is a he's a uh, madman. Yeah. And he's going to show his horns when he gets the opportunity to. Right. The opportunity is close ahead, you know? So we, we got the same mindset as what? Uh, uh, King David. That's right. You know, praying, hey, that represents the house of David. You know, this, praying. They were going to really show his horns soon come, bro. Mm-hmm. They already showing him a little bit now. Yep. You heard what, you heard what um, Sleepy Joe said, you know what I'm saying? Say, say uh, my patience is wearing thin. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and he was speaking, you know what I'm saying, from the elites, you know what I'm saying? Yep. These told him to say that, look, our patients are running thin. Look, look, take Maxine Waters, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look, you, you know what it is. Yep. It's going to be like some old, um, what's that damn movie with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, nah, it won't Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? No, nah, uh, Wesley Snipes and that Demolition Man. Demolition Man, yeah. We're coming into those days, man. Mm-hmm. See? Draconian laws, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. Uh, warlike laws, man. Or yep. get ready to be handed down. It says, which imagine mischief in their heart. Yep, and they imagine mischief in his heart, in their hearts. And I believe that goes in like ill treatment, you know? Yep. That's what they're imagining. I got a precept for you. Yeah, that, that's exactly what they're imagining, right? But you see, they don't know nothing about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai either, though, right? Right. Uh, second Maccabees, just a quick precept for what I just read. Second Maccabees, chapter 7, verse 31, and it reads, and thou that has been the author of all mystery, they, they come by. Let me bring him in right quick. The brother back, con, 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 slacky. No, you good. Second Maccabees, chapter 7, verse 31. And thou that has been the author of all mischief, Dang. we just read about that, right? Yep. Uh, look, 
against the Hebrews. Against the Hebrews. You know, so he's been the author of mischief against the Hebrews. Right. No, that goes to show you that he's he's your ultimate enemy. Right. Shall not escape the hands of the most high. And, and look, we have help from the ultimate power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, so what? Esau's not going to escape. What when he comes in like a man, man, the Lord is going to lift up a standard. You he know, come with, he coming with his mischiefs, he coming with his devices, his tricks, mm -hmm. his schemes, his plots. We're not ignorant to none of it, though. Right. And the Lord said, Yeah, you was the author. So you was the one, you was the author. You right. you started all this, you know what I'm saying? Against my people, man. And then you had these other nations. Because remember, going right back to Psalms 83rd chapter, you know what I'm saying? It was this devil that yep. brought all these nations together to take our heritage away from us, bro. Yep. They came together with one consent, you know. So the Chinese man is guilty. The duty the African man is guilty. Sleazy e is most definitely guilty. Uh, mm -hmm. the, Arab, the Arabs is guilty. <coughs> Who else, bro? Oh, you said you said it already. Arabs, the uh, yeah. the uh, so-called Africans, the Hamites, yeah. the mm -hmm. Dyer East Indians, mm -hmm. the Hawaiians, yep. all of them, bro. When this devil go down, all of them go down, man. That's right. So, they, all of them better live it up right now, man. Right. Because when our Lord and Savior cracked them clouds, man, so rough for everybody walking the earth, mm -hmm. man. Yep. They ain't an Israelite. This is which imagine mischief going right back, Psalms 140 and 2, which imagine mischiefs in, in their heart. Mm -hmm. Continually are they gathered together for war. And if I can bring out this word mischief, it says to bring harm or trouble. It says harm or trouble caused by someone or something. So they're constantly looking to harm, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Right. You know, and by any means necessary. It says, any means. Uh, you said what now? That's said any means. Yep, any means. It says uh, damage, detriment, uh, trouble. Damn. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's sleazy to starting all the trouble against the Hebrews, man. Yep. Call it call us the bh the bh what um bhi yeah yep. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. devil, man. I'm gonna jump down though. Verse eight. Grant not, O Lord. Um, this is um Psalms 140 and 8. Grant not, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the devices of the wicked. Mm -hmm. Yep, don't don't grant this 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 um devil uh power over us, you know. Don't so he's, trying to, he's, trying to, he's trying to perform his new world order. Mm -hmm. All these women doing this fucking twerking. That shit old now, man. I know, right? Yes, yeah, Cardi B ain't it? Sitting there looking all stupid, man. They get the worst out of the worst of our people, don't they though? Hell yeah. As long as you come on, I'm gonna shake your way. That's your old now, man. Mm -hmm. Sit your old ass buns down. <laughs> them buns, oh, they fake. Them buns ain't real. <laughs> Sit it down, man. <laughs> Shit, them, them, buns. Them, right, them buns, <laughs> like the buns from McDonald's. It's just ain't real, yo. Right. Sit them old, old fake buns down, yo. <laughs> Shit. Cause look, you're trying to I was, I was, I was just gonna say they're trying to perform that new world order to what no say they try to no saying um Karagma all of us. This mm -hmm. this they made because they devices, they schemes, they plots and their tricks. Yep. Mm -hmm. ain't, ain't this a lame ass New Year's celebration thing? Yeah, it's it dead, is. Man. You know, remember years ago, you no know saying when, when we got ready to get New Year's, man, the whole city was in an uproar, like, yo, let's get it. Yep. See? Now look, shit is dead. Everybody broke. You know what I'm saying? People can't pay their rent. Shit, um, these women and these men don't even know what men first and then women don't even know their rent getting ready to go up probably about $300 to $500 more. Mm -hmm. Hell, you, you ain't going to be able to go to the grocery store and get nothing soon come, man. Right. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year, all right? You count it down. You count it down to your destruction, man. Mm -hmm. You count it down to your destruction, man. It says, um, further not his wicked device. Trying yep. to corrupt me, everybody. Yep. That's right. Uh, you know, don't give him the upper hand. Don't allow him to be able to uh, fully implement it. Right. Which we know through the scriptures and, and prophecy that he's not going to be able to do so. Right. No, but the Lord, <laughs> I always say through the spirit, it's a dramatic movie that we're in. You know, the Lord's going to allow him to, you know, chip up, a, you know, a good portion of people. But the scripture say when he's about to fill his belly, the Lord's going to interrupt. You know? It says, um... Least, least they exalt themselves, Salah. Yeah, at least they exalt themselves. Like, yeah, look what we did. Right. You know, we took them down. Right. You know, the worst thing you want to do is uh, see your enemies prevail over you. 
again, which we know that's not going to happen. You know, at the end, at the end of this movie, you know, the Israelites win. It's going to start right. with the elect, and then the two thirds are going to come back in the kingdom. They're going to come in their right mind. That's and right. The, the covenant and the promises, but you know, this devil's going to go down. This is on Psalms. I'm going to read this right quick, bro. You can bring yours. Psalms 37 and 7. As a matter of fact, bring yours, bro. This is Psalms 9 and 15. It says, The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, and the right. net which they hid is their own foot taken. <laughs> yeah, this, this devil set up a trap, you know what I'm saying? But he's going to fall into it, though, man. The trap that he set for us, you know what I'm saying? The Lord going to have him fall into it, man. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. story, though, man. This, this devil mm -hmm. think he's winning, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah, how about Shimei going to show and prove, man? Mm -hmm. The trap that this devil dig, he gonna fall in it, man. He gonna fall right into that ditch that he dig for us, man. Yep. That's it, it's bro. The, verse sixteen: The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Right. The Lord gonna trap this devil up, man. The Lord is not gonna let this man further his enterprise. He gonna he gonna corrupt him with some people though. Yep. He don't be a German because mm -hmm. remember the scripture say you no know, saying well when he was about to fill his belly. Mm -hmm. so that means he started eating already. <clears throat> so he mm -hmm. get ready to take the last bit of, the, of that plate. You no know, saying the Lord gonna slap that plate out of his hand, though, man. It's right. gonna be beautiful, though, man. And this right. devil gonna be like the through as hell, though, man. You ever mm -hmm. seen somebody slap a damn plate out of somebody's mouth when they get ready to eat and shit? You know? They had that crazy look on their face. The Lord get ready, to man. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's through, man. I'm gonna read this. Let's come by. Yeah. This is Psalms 37 and 7. We're going to wrap it up in a few. Probably go about 10 more minutes. Because you got the apostles and the elder bishops. They're they going live too. So we're going to watch some more of their, their shows or whatever. But hey, look. Check out <coughs> the all the way down, man. That's right. You know? Go, uh, brain so-called year 2020. And, and um, they ain't chimed in. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Mm -hmm. Don't miss the New Year's Eve of destruction. You know what I'm saying? Don't miss it now. Keep right. your eyes open. I'm thinking the Lord gonna make a speedy riddance of this, but look at all these slowers. No, I'm saying all these slowers all over the screen, man. You know what I'm saying Psalms 37 and 7, rest in the Lord. Because Michael 2 and 10, this is not our rest, right? Shalom Zakwan. Shalom. It says, um, and wait patiently for him. Mm -hmm. So we gotta wait patiently for the Lord, which means the word patient means to suffer. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna go through you know some tough you know times which we come into the times it's never been since the earth was created jacob's trouble uh daniel 12 and 1. but what we're gonna rest in the lord resting your house by shimmy i was shot right that's right it says um and wait patiently for him fret not thyself of fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way yeah it looks like this man is prospering right he's uh being able to um gradually get get people to join this program okay so it looks like he's winning right okay but don't fret yourself because it's, it's a part of the movie the dramatic effect of this whole movie that's right it says um fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way because of the man who bring it wicked devices to pass yeah man and, and ultimately as we've been going through through the spirit that uh nwo agenda so he's not going to be able to uh, fully implement and, and, and chip everybody. Yeah, he's going to mm -hmm. corrupt the majority of the people, and he's going to try to push forward this NWO agenda. But the Lord's going to interrupt that, man. That's right. The Lord's going to come in, and he's going to give deliverance to <clears throat> the elect. So don't be afraid of these things. We we have to what? Just patiently wait on Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, understanding that this is a part of the uh, process in us getting to the kingdom. You know, a little it's going to be some suffering. Yeah, the scriptures tell us, fear not the, the coming of the heathen. Mm -hmm. The Lord got us. The Lord said, you fear me, you ain't got to worry about nothing, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because, look, the Lord has already taken the murph out of this place. This all this shit lame, man. Look at these people, man. I mean, like, everybody masked up and all that. I guess they're going from New York to Puerto Rico, back to New York, and all this other nonsense, right? That dude right there in Puerto Rico, that daddy Yankee. Yeah, I don't know who he is. And look at them, and look at them all masked up. It's <laughs> crazy, man. This is what you people live for, right? You live for this, right? You live to be here, right? You see? 
I, I want to mm -hmm. bring this last precept out in this in the Psalms, Psalms 140 and 11. Not let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. You got it, bro. You know this this devil speaks evil, man. Look what he's doing, mandating this, mandating this. You got to do this. You got to do that. Look, mm -hmm. line on the Hebrews, right? Let not the evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. Ooh. Bookmark that one. Bad times, man. Bookmark that one, brothers. Huh? I said, huh. Book, brother, make sure they bookmark that one. Right. That Psalms 140 and 11. Mm -hmm. It says, "Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him." Man, damn, dude, many bad times gonna hunt him down. Man, gonna chase him out of here. Man, that's you right. Know? See, mm -hmm. it's gonna get real bad for this devil, man. I, 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 was, I was watching the news. Y'all, them devils were hauling ass getting out of Colorado, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was at it was at this restaurant. And that's how you know the fire just came up from out of nowhere, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? They had to haul ass out of the restaurant, bro, grab the kids and everything. And then when they opened the restaurant doors, they couldn't even see shit, bro. It was that mm -hmm. much smoke. You can't even see which way to go, man. You better can see your car in the parking lot. That's the evils that the Lord's talking about, man. Right. And this is just the beginning of their sorrows, man. Right. <clears throat> bring whatever bring, bring whatever y'all got out here, man. Mm -hmm. This is the, the book of Job, chapter 4, verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. And and that's all this devil's been doing since he's been in power, man. Right. You know, and, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll call him out on his wickedness, man. He he's been, like and he that's right. He he don't like it. <laughs> he's been sentenced right now, man. You know. <laughs> It says, "Shall reap the same." Go ahead, bro. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I didn't hear. I didn't hear uh, you uh, uh, no, you good? Oh, kind, kind. He said, "You know, it says, it shall so uh, wickedness reap the same." <clears throat> so it's all gonna come back upon his head, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's like mm -hmm. you, you, <laughs> you digging. Uh, uh, you know, in cartoons they be digging in uh, the the, uh, the sand or the or the. <laughs> That's right. Evil, brother. <laughs> it's gonna pursue this devil, man. Right. It's right. gonna be beautiful, man, to see these devils catch a pure hell, man. The hell that they put us on, they put us through. The Lord said they're gonna they're gonna receive double, bro. That's right. That's double, right. double the evil, man. Evils, man. You know. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. I got something for you, um, either Kabbalah or Ra, either one of y'all. This, this is Revelation chapter eleven. Verse 18, and the and the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, and the time uh, and the nations is angry. Go ahead, brother. You got it. Uh, you're right. The, the, the nations are angry. Look, they, 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 they're running Esau out of out of their out of their countries, out of, out, you know, mm -hmm. uh, trying to get the uh, their uh, their uh, their 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 uh countries back, man. Mm -hmm. You know, South right. Africa, you know, over there in the Middle East. You know, yep. so happened in Afghanistan, some of them devils left. They put everything mm -hmm. back in order 24 hours, man. Mm -hmm. took, took, took the women off the um internet and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. 24 hours, man. Let you know right there. As soon as this devil get, get taken out of the way, man, the earth is gonna mm -hmm. be back peaceful and ran straight yep. again. That's right. Going right back, going right back to um somebody can hold um Isaiah the 14th chapter two. I had that on deck. I had it on yeah. deck earlier. When this right. devil get taken out of power, you know what I'm saying this devil, the whole earth is going to rejoice, man. Because this devil, this devil destroying everything hands down, man. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that lion picture that you got—that's the kind of picture I should. I got in his career. Yeah, I noticed that today. You know yeah, I that. yeah. So, bro, has got them lions jumping off in the background. Yeah. What's good? He? Great see? lions thinking light. Right, right. right. <laughs> and, and and the nations were angry. And because because the, the, um, Sleazy E brought that democracy to their country, man. Yep. And, and they like, damn, they they just starting to realize they got a crappy deal dealing with right. them, man. And and mm -hmm. this devil gave them fiat notes, you know what I'm saying, for they all and their resources, man. Yep. Look, look, gave them gave them toilet paper, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, gave them toilet paper, and then they pissed off, man. He didn't give them gold or silver or nothing like that. Gave them toilet paper, bro. 
It says, um, and thy wrath has come at the time of the dead, which represents these other nations. Yep. And they <clears throat> be judged. So now it's about time for these heathen nations to get judged now, man. Mm -hmm. for, for, for taking part, you know what I'm saying, and having us in captivity and following behind this devil. That's right. You know? It says, um, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy service to prophets. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're fighting for. That's what we're waiting for. That reward, that penny. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It says, um, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, mm -hmm. small and great, and shouldest destroy them, and shouldest destroy them, and shouldest destroy them. Right. Mm -hmm. which, which destroy the earth and that mm -hmm. sound good to my ears man that sound real good to my ears the lord's going to destroy them that's destroying the earth man right i mean these devils are destroying the, i mean ugh. trash the size of texas just floating around mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying, bro you know what i'm saying you got you you got uh uh, uh gmo foods oh. right you got you, you got planes flying through the air 24 7 blowing out uh, 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 tiny metals and particles and diseases right yeah i mean it just it, it, you know you got all types of uh, 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 uh you know liquids and potions that this man got that, that he he's uh, stabbing our people up with in the hospitals mm -hmm. you know giving all types of uh, uh, medication which is ultimately witchcraft you know got one family member got eight bottles of this seven bottles of that <laughs> rainforest was, they forgot about the rainforest no i was just gonna say bro them juice drinkers starting to look bad too man yeah them yeah. juice drinkers starting to look bad too <laughs> they always put the worst looking jake person on tv though right <laughs> look at her look at that red ass wig off man <laughs> why your baby why your baby's out this late at night mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you got it though bro Kind of, uh, I, had a, I had a couple of precepts. Yeah. <clears throat> bring whatever y'all got, man. Then we'll wrap it up, man. Done. Oh, yeah. I got, before y'all bring it up, let me bring this one right quick, though, bro. Done. We're going to get it out of the way right quick. This is on um, song. This is Jeremiah. Uh, let's see. Jeremiah chapter um 51. I started, um, I started seven. Yep. Babylon, Jeremiah 51 and 7. What you say, bro? No, I was like, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babylon represents America. Right. Because right? it, it spiritually is that, that ancient kingdom coming back, re revised, man, revamped. Yeah, land full of confusion. Yep. You know, Babylon means confusion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This land, you don't know up, down, right, left, <clears throat> man from woman, woman from man. You don't know. Yeah. It's it's bad. Look, we didn't grow up like this, man. Having to wonder if, if there's a woman or not, man. We didn't grow up like this, man. Nope. Mm -hmm. No, you made a great point because now it's like it's like, oh, oh, how do I address you? If you, right. if you you know what I'm saying, you see a cat, oh that come here, kitty. Right. But you see a man dressed as a woman, uh, sir. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you can't even uh, Confusion, man. You see a cat nowadays, you can't call it a cat. You just gotta say, Give me a furry animal <laughs> with a long tail. Right. You know hey, you, see a dog, you can't call it a dog no more either, right? Right. All right. Give me an animal that barks. Right. Right. Hey, look, crocodile Dundee said it best. Hey, hey, that's 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 a boy. That's a, that's yeah. a boy. Hey, Mike. It's a boy, Mike. <laughs> Mike. Them hotels made a lot of money on tonight. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Cops every damn well. Look at these people, man. Business is open. Right, man. Night. <laughs> Can't wait till this place get destroyed, man. I know. Right. Right. For real, for real. I'm going to read this, though. I'm going to finish reading this. It says, um... Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Yeah, through, through his, his thought process, right? This devil's thought process, his ways, his wine, his doctrine, all right? Like he was going into Hawaii, you know, the women uh, uh, having some type of rights, voting, yeah. and, you know, just uh, having some place of, 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 of leadership. Right. You know, that's out of order. That's right. 
And they right. said, hold on, man. You know, she wasn't talking talking back to me before you came over here with this nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit. They all they all over there across the seas on, on Instagram and all that, TikTok mm-hmm. and all that, twerking mm-hmm. and all that, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Shit, got them celebrating Christmas and all that, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got them celebrating Thanksgiving. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got them celebrating yeah. Easter and all that, bro. Got the Arabs yep. over there hiding Easter eggs, bro. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 hey, look, bro, they ain't got on their garbs no more. They got on their fucking suits and shit, right? Yep. <laughs> look, at, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at them gooks, you know what I'm saying? They don't even wear um, they look, uh, ancient um, little robes no more. They wear right. shit and all that. McDonald's mm-hmm. every damn well with that mm-hmm. processed meat, the fake fries, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Them burgers, if it fall behind your couch and you find it three years later, it still look the same. <laughs> man, that's what I'm saying, man. It's <laughs> finished, man. It says the nations have drunken or for wine, therefore the nations are mad. Yeah, now look, 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 they done sobered up now. Like, hold on, man. I know, right? This, this, this ain't what it is right here, man. You you sold me a crappy deal. You fooled me, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, witchcraft's on the way off now. Mm-hmm. It says it says Babylon is is suddenly falling and destroyed. That's right, man. That's what we're telling you coming into this so-called new year. Babylon's going to be destroyed, according to the Bible, man. Right. Right. That word Babylon goes back to the Hebrew word Babal, like Hawaii said, which means confusion. Right. Babylon is suddenly falling. This already happened already in another realm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah mm-hmm. seen this happen, man, seeing Babylon being destroyed, man, by ICBM missiles, man. It says, um, how for her? Take bomb for her pain. That's right. How? 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 You know, <laughs> it said take bomb for her pain. Bomb is a healing agent, right? You know I mean? Stimulus packages, or you know, build back better programs, or yeah. you know, none of that stuff is because, like, it tells you in um, in Joel, the 14th chapter, that this man has bounds he cannot pass, man, right? And the Lord set those bounds, yeah. How about you? Shah set those bounds, and we're coming to the end of those bounds, man. That's right. That's right. It says, um, it says, take bomb for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. And she can't be healed because all right. these uh, ancient kingdoms had a time of ruling, a time like 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 I used to say, grand opening and grand closing. Right. You know, this is time for America. To, all right, for its grand closing. That's right. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. That's right, because it's prophecy that she would not be healed, man. Okay, and that's what the, the what we're living. We're living in the, the the end time prophecies of the Bible, man. Mm-hmm. That's why it's very important for you as well. Like, just kill Betty right ass. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, just yep. Betty right old ass. No, saying, right. come on, man. Her next stop is gonna be slavery when she come back. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, we think about now. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's very important for our people to repent while they still got time, man. Because I'll be read earlier. No hand join the hand. The wicked should not go unpunished. Right, you know? and those that join hand in hand with them shall be thrust through. That's right. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Mm-hmm. But look, forsake her. That's and right. Us- forget about her. Yeah, you know, forget about her ways. Right. Forget about how good she may look. She on her last leg, man. Right. She's a whore. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She's a whore. Turn That's back right. to the Lord. It says forsake her and let us go every one into his own country. That's this- right, man. And look, and for, for our people, we need to uh, uh, um, you know come out come up out of this spiritually the ways of this place. Right. Right? You know, you heathens, you better go back to your own countries because look, fire's coming. Mm-hmm. Shit, they just start doing it already. Mm-hmm. Only, people, only people really invested in America is Jake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The other nations they ain't got their money off this place. You no, know saying they gone now. They getting the hell out of here, man. Mm-hmm. It, 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 you hit it the nail around the head because this diet East Indian, I used to work with. Well, I used to go to his business <clears throat> and deliver stuff. And um, one day I, I was getting ready to deliver, and he um he was packing up. I said, "Oh, I said, what's going on, man? You closing down shop?" He says, "Yeah, I can't make no more money here. It's garbage. Right. It's garbage. I can't make no more money here." Damn. So he packed up and went back home. Damn. And this was like two years ago. How much more now? 
Um, it says, um, oh yeah, for for a judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, man. So the judgment is devil has reached the ears of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, the wickedness he has been doing. All right, the Lord is fed up now. Yeah, going right back to um second Ezra the 15th chapter. The Lord said, hey, Look, um, a wickedness has been sealed through the whole earth. He's not gonna hold you. Got it. Go ahead. Yep, Salaki. Um, second Ezra 15 and <clears throat> six. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's right, man. What's part of those uh, uh evil works? Promoting sodomy, mm -hmm. promoting abominable foods, all right, mm -hmm. crossing out our Lord and Savior, his his uh, philosophies, this destroying the minds of the people. All right, this devil got everybody effed up. Yeah. You got it, bro. It says, um, verse seven, therefore, said the Lord, verse eight, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Mm -hmm. which they profanely commit that's right that's what that's why the lord has set up you know uh our bibbins all right on down apostles elders right on down man because yep. the lord the lord is tired of it man he's tired right. of their wickedness and we are to condemn these devils through the spirit and power how about shot with these with these words <clears throat> it says neither will i suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Go ahead. Go ahead. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls oh, of that the was it. That was it. That was it. That was come. it. Did you have anything else? <clears throat> um, no, I got uh I got uh Isaiah the 14th chapter. Uh see. yeah, 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 yeah. Go to that, go to that. Huh. And um Think a while, yeah. Oh, 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 get the get the rest of that scripture. Read read down some more on that. Con. Second Ezra 15 and um seven. Finish read. I don't think you finished that scripture, that ver that verse, did you? Um wickedness has for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. That one? No, nah, second Ezra the 15th chapter. Yeah, yeah. I, I was um I was at uh verse eight. Want me to keep going? Yeah. Uh, second Ezra 15 and 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, right? Meaning the prophets are speaking his word now. Go ahead, it says, Oh, yeah, look, so like it, bro, bringing out all this man dirt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The Lord got the Lord got the problem bringing out mm -hmm. all this man dirt, man, exposing sleazy, e, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, which they profanely commit, right? You know what I'm saying? Everything they speak, you no know saying, don't go according to the scriptures, they're outside the temple, man. Mm -hmm. See. That's what the word profane means. It means outside the temple. <laughs> See, I mean, they ain't got nothing to do with the Bible, man. That's why the scriptures say, um, what has thou to do to declare my judgments, man? My statue. Mm -hmm. What you doing walking around with a Bible the size of a Cadillac? You don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. The scriptures tell you, you know what I'm saying, to take this. You telling my people to take that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So remember, the Lord said he got a controversy with the inhabitants of the earth, man, because there's no truth, there's no mercy, there's no knowledge of the most high in this land, man, and the Lord going to do something about it, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You got it. It says, um, I had a quick precept. You said something? Yeah. Uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 3, let no man deceive you by any means, right. but that day should not come, except there come a falling away first. Right, so we had, to, we had to lose our way, man. We lost our mm -hmm. nationality and everything, man. A falling away had to come first. We, yeah. we lost the name of the Heavenly Father, His Son. We forgot who we were. We forgot where we were from. All that, man, the knowledge. We fell away from all that, man. All mm -hmm. that had to happen for, for what to happen, bro. It says, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, it says, except they're coming falling away first, right. and that, that man of sin be revealed, the and son of perdition. That's sleazy. He's the man of sin, man. He's the son of perdition, man. You see, and the word perdition means destruction. Everywhere this man goes, he destroys shit, man. Mm -hmm. We had to fall away first, you know what I'm saying? Get the knowledge, and then that man of sin get revealed. Sleazy. And mm -hmm. then we're starting to reveal this devil, man. Right. You see? 
CZ has been revealed now, man. All right, just like Wizard of Oz. You know I'm saying he's the man behind the curtain, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> he's the man behind the curtain, man. The dog revealed him, didn't he? That's right. The word dog goes back to the word Caleb, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Saying the servants of the Lord, which we are the dogs for Yahweh by Shimei, was shall we barking? You know right. what I'm saying? Have, have revealed, you no know saying the, the man behind the curtain, man. You see, sleazy right. man. And if I could just say too, that's how you know we at the end, right? You no, know, he's being revealed, he's being put to shame, right? The Lord destroys him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So no, that, that's another indication that you know Yahweh is getting ready to come back, right? And this man gonna be looking real through. He's gonna be looking worse than um, what's that dude? Was that Saddam Hussein? Yeah, Saddam was saying, yep. Yeah, yep. that all the dirt on dudes and that damn yep. hole with that money and shit. Yep. We didn't know what's saying. He was looking so bad. We didn't know what's saying. Till, till they started slapping the hell out of his head. And then that dust started flying everywhere. Then we realized, oh, that shit, that's Saddam was saying. He didn't even look the same, man. And that probably really won't him, though. No, I'm saying? Just old oh, look alike. Oh, look alike. No, I'm saying? Come on, man. Sleazy mm -hmm. and his witchcraft, man. Jake better wake the hell up, man. The Lord get ready to come destroy this man. That's right. You know? What what else, brother? Is that the end of that? <clears throat> That's the end yeah. Of yeah, yeah. That was, that was the point on that. It was a part about the oh yeah, um, oh, Rob, you finished with yours about this um the the men complain continually. No, I'm not finished that yet. Yeah. Uh, reading on Second Ezra 15 and eight, it says, "Neither will I suffer them in those things." The Lord ain't gonna keep putting up with this devil, man. But the Lord is bound by His words, though. Plus, the Lord says He's long suffering. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Lord ain't gonna keep putting up with this devil though, man. The Lord gonna eventually make a move on this devil, man. But the, but the Lord gonna bring them players just like ancient Egypt, though. It's beautiful though, right, bro? You see know, these right? devils scary and trying to run from <coughs> the devil, right? Mm -hmm. The Lord just brought that tornado, he just brought earthquakes, they bring Ooh. a fire, man. Woo, forgot about Ooh. that. Any okay. devil scared of devil. Oh, they seeing more cherry, they're scared of death, man. Mm -hmm. These devils scared of death, they seen them cherries, brothers. Yep. They ain't yep. sleeping right at night, man. You believe that now? We don't want the ones that sleeping right at night. These no. devils. Man. Right. These devils know they, they they going down. They see the men of the Lord on the streets. They know they going down, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. You got it. It reads on verse uh, 8. It says, in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Right. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. Right, the elect, go ahead. And the souls of the just complain continually. Good, and the souls of the just complain continually, bro. So only, who else can we complain to but the Lord? So we constantly, every day, complaining to the Lord, like, Lord, when are you taking this devil down? Yeah. Hasten the day, man. Ain't going to do it soon come, Lord willing, man. We see that all the mm -hmm. signs are there. All the tall tale signs are there. Look, this devil opened up a portal not too long ago, you know what I'm saying? And, and um. It was either a hand came out of there or, or a message came out of there, man. Damn. I think it was a, I think it was a, I think it was, it was a hand. It was a hand, yeah. yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause we seen it on, uh, we showed it the other, not too long ago at camp. And isn't a doomsday clock running out too? Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> this man threw, man. What, what else we got before we close up, brothers? I got um, Job 20. And then you told me to get to Isaiah 14? Yeah. I guess we'll get um Joe, we'll get uh we'll get Isaiah first. Isaiah 14 and 1. Yeah. <clears throat> For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. That's us. And will yet choose Israel. That's us, so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, Israelite foreigners has been scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth. That's us. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. Should the Lord didn't say he's gonna choose everybody? Mm. <laughs> He gonna choose all nations, bro. It says, <coughs> and set them in their own land. That part saying, about that part about yet choose Israel. You sure it didn't say yet choose the whole world? And yet choose Israel. I thought that's what it said. You, no, yet choose Sleazy Esau. And will yet choose Israel. Moab. And will yet choose Israel. Moab. Israel. Ham. Israel. Um fucking um. What is it? Um, the Hawaiians, um, Jaffa, Jaffa, mm -hmm. Israel, Israel. You sure? Yep. You sure you? That, that, that ain't a trick. Bible is it? Nope. Hey, look. He said he's gonna get you Israel. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get you Israel, man. That's right. Yeah, bro. And set them in their own land. 
Right. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The Israelite foreigners, go ahead. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Go ahead. Verse 2, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Right, the Israelites are going to take you heathen and bring y'all to our place. Mm -hmm. We'll have y'all right where we want y'all to, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's going to be the funny thing about it, all right? Right. Put, putting them on cargo slave ships, knowing that they ain't, they ain't got a damn thing, ain't nothing they can mm -hmm. do about it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. And you and you just and you just sitting back like like yeah yeah there we yep. all moved there put your ass to work for real for real mm -hmm. Slep, slapping fucking skin off their head you know what I'm saying bro <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> you know what I'm saying bro it's gonna be loud as on no way put, put, put the fear of God in them <laughs> God you got it it says and hey, bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Right, and we're gonna possess. When you possess something, that means you own it, man. All sure. right, we're gonna we're gonna own you, nations, man. You got it. <clears throat> in the land of the Lord, for servants and handmaids, slave men, slave women. Go ahead. It says, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Right, well, look, the people that led us in the captivity, they're going in the head, head first in the captivity. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be worse. It's gonna be bad too. But we're gonna be meditating today. We got them new bodies. Yep, mm -hmm. you got it. It says, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And we're gonna rule over our oppressors, man. Go ahead. Um, verse three, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest. The Lord's gonna give us rest finally. Lord willing, we up that number to make it on the first go around. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, um shall give thee rest from thy sorrow right and from thy fear that's right and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve and, and, you, and you know most definitely we did that here in america man go ahead verse four that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of babylon hello hey, little bro and it says you no know, saying um you're gonna give us rest right i want to bring out this quick precept isaiah 60 and 12 for the nation and kingdom that was you, you know these heathen nations. We ain't gonna serve y'all. Mm -hmm. We never serve a black man ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 bro. Oh, oh, really? No. Right, right, right. Really? Right. Really? Are you sure? You want right. to? You look. We, we you stand behind that saying. Right. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? We, would you bet your life on that saying? <laughs> right. I said six and twelve for the nation and kingdom that would not serve <clears> me <throat> shall perish. Yea. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Wasted, man. Mm -hmm. That's a heavy scripture right there. That's right. Go ahead. Going back to Isaiah 14 and 4, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Sleazy E Esau Edom, starting off with the elite banking families. They're the kings of Babylon. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And say, how have the oppressors ceased? Right. Mm -hmm. The golden city ceased. AKA America. Go ahead. It says, um, verse five, the Lord have broken the staff of the wicked. Right. And the scepter of the rulers. Right. Took in the, that took in a power. This is a future prophecy. This haven't happened yet. Go ahead. It says, verse six, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. Then you know it's talking about Esau Edom. Go ahead. It says, he that ruled the nations in anger. Right. <laughs> Is persecuted. That's right. And none hindereth. And none and no ain't nobody gonna stand up to help this devil, man. Go ahead. Verse seven. The whole earth is at rest. When and this devil, when this devil get taken down, mm -hmm. New Year's Eve of destruction, 2022, man. When this devil get taken down, the whole earth is gonna be at rest. Right. Go ahead. It says, um, and is quiet. Right. They break forth into singing. Damn. Mm -hmm. mm. Verse eight, yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee. A.K. the so-called Christmas tree is going to be rejoicing in that day, man. Go ahead. It says, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. The feller is a person to cut down trees. Mm -hmm. when we cut down trees, and when we get back into the kingdom, when we cut down trees, it's going to be to build a house or something. Yep. It's not gonna just to be doing something, man. Right. 
parking lot, you know what I'm saying? Or he'll cut down a, a forest, you know what I'm saying? They won't do nothing with it, just leave it open land. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everything's going to rejoice when this devil gets taken out of power, man. Mm -hmm. the end of that verse, bro? Um, yeah, that's the end of that. Bring out yours combined. We'll, we'll wrap it up. This is Job 20 and 4, the point in 9. You got it, bro. Uh. It says, Job 20 and 4, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the yep. joy of the... Yeah, the triumphing of the wicked. And who are the wicked? The Edomites, the so-called white people. Malachi mm -hmm. 1 and 4. You know, they look like they're uh, successful. They have been able to obtain many things, stolen land and resources. Okay, but hey, mm -hmm. it's, it's only for a moment. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, we're coming to the end of that. You know? It says, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Yep, hey, this man is the biggest hypocrite, you know? So he's, he's going to have his, you know, uh, success. But for a moment, so we're 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 seeing the end of that. And the scriptures say um, mm -hmm. Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning. Mm -hmm. We're seeing Jacob is is the, the transition of the kingdom is being performed, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's starting with the great awakening of you know um of the nation of Israel. Okay, mm -hmm. us coming back to Yahweh by Shemia was shy. We're getting ready to see an everlasting rule rulership get uh put in place, man. So this devil's getting ready to be taken out. Mm-hmm. Verse 6, it says, Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reaches unto the clouds. Yeah, the space stations, you know, mm -hmm. this, this devil was able to, uh, you know, uh, obtain technology to be able to do these things, which the Lord yep. gave him. So, so, you know, people marveled at this, seeing that this devil was, was able to do that. And they looked at him as if he was the most high. Okay. Mm -hmm. Read on. Verse 7, it says, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Yeah, dung meaning your own doo-doo. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you're going to perish. Yeah, so he's able to have all this technology. He's able to go into the heavens with his space stations and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but look, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. The Lord right. just prompted this man up to show you his power because really at the end of the day, the Lord is going to receive all the glory, honor, and praises. That's right. You know, by bringing this devil down through his divine intervention. Yeah, the Lord's name is going to be magnified again, like like in ancient Egypt. Yep. You bring this devil down, man. Yep. You see? That's it, it goodbye. On. Huh? No, I'm saying that's it? No, it's more. Uh, two ahead. more verses. It okay. says, verse 7, They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Damn. Mm -hmm. he, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be chased away as a dream. You know, <clears throat> the devil's gonna be after a thousand years, he's not gonna exist anymore, right? You know, so you're gonna be like, Where, where is he? Right, you know? right, <laughs> right. I know, right, bro. Look, <laughs> right, you know, so at the end of the day, we we, we don't fear. This devil, we fear Yahweh by Shimei was shy, the one who killed right. Jacob alive, the one who set up kingdoms and bring down others, man. That's right. You know, it says, verse nine, the eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. Yeah, you're not gonna see him anymore. And Joe mm -hmm. was prophesying about this many years ago, man. Right. We're getting ready to see that this, this prophecy take place after this devil serves hardcore slavery, <clears throat> you know? And you and you see it's about that time because this devil's starting to come in with great wrath, though, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. Yeah. That's how you know we that much closer, man. And wickedness is everywhere, man. Look at these people, man. Look at Times Square, <coughs> man. All mm -hmm. of them look fucking through, man. You know. Almost, I got, mm -hmm. I got one last. That was it, Kabod. That was it. If y'all ain't got none, I got, I got one more, and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't have anything. Second Peter chapter three verse thirteen. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. 
That's right. That new heavens represents a new kingdom, a new rulership where our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shad, all right, is ruling at, at the helm. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. People understand that look, all these kings and, and, and princes of, of this world have to be taken down because only one king can sit on the throne. Right. And we're ushering our king, Yahweh mm -hmm. Shad. He delivered, he saves. And with upon that coming, destruction has to happen to this kingdom. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why the scripture says it's high time to awake out of sleep because salvation is near the way we believe, man. Mm -hmm. Salvation is right around the corner, man. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, yo. Women right. more naked than a little bit, man. Mm -hmm. you know? We had to end this thing, man. Sin is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation then to trouble you. You know? Mm -hmm. Hey, any closing comments, bro, statements, or anything? Repent before it's too late because destruction is here. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to get worse. Things are uh, ramping up. Right. Hey, look. Bye. Hey, look. Stay focused. Walk circumspectly because the days are evil. Keep pushing. Yep. Stay strong. The brother put this, so I got to read this. <clears throat> Psalm 149 is singing the high praises of the Most High being in their mouth, which is his word. And mm -hmm. a two-edged sword in their hand. Mm, that's right. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. That's right. Mm -hmm. To bind their kings with chains and their nose with feathers of iron. That's right, man. <clears throat> to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise you, the Lord. Lord. That's right, man. Close no, I understand. Out. I mean, are, are, are you finished saying what you're saying? You can close this out, bro. We're blessed, man. Lord willing, we endure to the end. We'll be the first fruits in the kingdom, you know, to be able to ramp up these uh, uh, nobles, kings and nobles, you know, with feathers and iron, and, and, you know, be the first fruits in the kingdom to uh, receive the benefits. That's right, bro. So we got to hold strong. And like, you know, Kabbalah said through the spirit, man, you keep on, be circumspect, you know? So with that being said, before we close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how the honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100 percent truth according to the Bible and who will well. That was Shalom to all you Akim and you Aqua, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. <clears throat> Shalom. Shalom. DTA above a ball. DTA above a ball. Soon. And very soon. Soon. Very soon. And very soon. soon. And very soon. Shalom. Shalom.